The Greater Accra Regional Minister, Henry Kwote, complained about the awful state of structures inhabited by staff of regional coordinating councils at the regional ministers and chief directors conference organized in Accra. He said, due to the inadequate funds allocated to the councils, they are unable to undertake rehabilitation works on them. Funding of our activities has been dwindling considering the demands on the RCCs. Our office buildings are collapsing. Our office buildings are collapsing. And our residences are nothing to write home about. Something needs to be done quickly to avert any danger to lives and properties. The Chief of Staff, Akosia Fremo Sayopari, assure the regional ministers of government's commitment towards improving the conditions of the regional coordinating councils. Let me assure you, in, uh, also on behalf of the Minister for Local Government, that of the commitment of the government of President Tekufuadu to improve the working and living conditions of our staff at the RCCs. We shall do our best to support you. She further charged the Regional Security Coordinating Councils to be proactive in addressing issues that have the potential of undermining the security of the state. In that regard, I will urge the RCC through their, their respective uh, Regional Security Councils to respond promptly to intelligence and early warning signals in varied forms, including chieftaincy, land disputes, illegal mining, land guards, armed robbery, invasion of funds by headsmen, influx of questionable foreign nationals, smuggling of cocoa, smuggling of fertilizer and farm inputs. Speaking to journalists at the conference, the Minister for Local Government and Rural Development, Dan Bochi, shut down calls for the relocation of the national capital, Accra, due to its congested nature. He says government lacks the resources to undertake such an activity. Now that we have such expanded service with leadership, well-trained, well-motivated, Capacity built, we should be able to deliver to the aspirations of the people. We, I do not think what's the most concern now is moving capital. It's so, it costs so much. In an interview with City News, the head of local government service, Dr. Nana Ato Arthur, asked the relevant state institutions to prosecute officials of the various metropolitan, municipal, and district assemblies indicted in the Auditor General's report for misappropriation of funds. The 2019 Auditor General's report on the performance of MMDAs revealed that over 800,000 Ghana cities was paid to contractors for no work done. Dr. Atu Arthur says there must be consequences for such wrongdoings legally to serve as a deterrent. That is unfortunate. The man will take it to be criminal. It's an offense to pay money to someone who has not executed anything for you. Then why are you giving him that money for free? Do you just give our government money for free? No, that is not right. It's from Auditor General's report. It goes to Public Account Committee and it found culpable. That person should be penalized.